Let's talk about the counterfeit market. That's a big yes. Big, it's a problem, yeah. bro. The the and and I think again, you know, going to an eBay or going to a StockX, I think their true value outside of regulating the market or at least giving an a, a, a idea of what a sneaker is worth, they can tell you that this is legit. So if I'm a kid and I'm spending my last few dollars. At least I know I got the real deal. Uh, but how? But, but do you have the real deal? Who makes these guys experts on what the shoe, if the shoe is real or not? They're not the ones over in China making the shoe. But did they, did do they make shoes? You know, like 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 that's the thing. Like I don't feel comfortable buying sneakers unless it's from the actual licensed retailer. I'm gonna be honest with you, because. I don't know if you've seen how these things look now. These replicas, the fakes, whatever you want to call them, UA. No, so educators. Ed, ed, Dude, they look like the damn real thing. They look exactly like the same thing. It is so to the point where I'm, I'm, I'm not buying from Goat. I'm not buying from. I have bought a few pairs from Goat just because I, I had to. I, I was like, yo, I have to get this shoe. I, I struck out on the release. I had to get it, but I hate doing it because I know how good they are overseas now. It's not like back in the days, the, the fakes you'd see all over New York City, they looked ridiculous. They were horrible looking. These things now, you can't tell the difference. You cannot no, tell even the difference. you, even you, who is somebody who's immersed in the business, you have had your YouTube channel going strong for 10 straight years. You're telling me you cannot tell the difference. There's little ways you can tell. Let me see if I have this here. One way you could tell is this. There's these, these UV lights, right? The people mm -hmm. in China, and this is how ridiculous this is, because you would think you could tell by just holding the shoe, but no. You got to hit, hit it with a UV light, and, and the, the people that make the counterfeits, they put a lot of sketches in like an invisible ink, markings when they're making the shoe. So you get one of these UV lights and you hit it. If you don't see those lines all over it, that, that, that's one way to ID that it's fake, that, that it's legit. Like no lines here, this is a legit pair. They also put like a, they usually put like a Chinese stamp on the front of the box right here. And this is good for your viewers too. When they buy the shoes, even from eBay or wherever, they usually put like this invisible ink, you know, like when you go to the club or something like that. Yes. And they hit you with one of them stamps. Then they hit you with the light. They usually put a stamp right here, like a Chinese stamp. It, I don't know why they do it, but they do. And um, I always check out the sneaker like this. I hit it with the light here, and I hit it with the shoe. That's one way to ID the fakes. But besides stuff like that, bro, you can't tell. You can't. So wow. what makes these guys at StockX, at GOAT, at eBay, what makes them professionals? They're not sitting in the factories, you know, sewing and gluing and all of that, you know? So I don't feel comfortable buying from them. That's just me. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.